الحمد لله الحمد لله وكفى والصلاة والسلام على عباده الذين استفى خصوصا على أفضلهم وخاتم النبيين محمد الأمين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد فقد قال الله تبارك وتعالى كما ورد في سورة الرعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألف لام امراء تلك آيات الكتاب والذي ينزل إليك من ربك الحق ولكن أكثر الناس لا يؤمنون الله الذي رفع السماوات بغير عمد ترونها ثم استوى على العرش وسخر الشمس والقمر كل يجري لأجل مسمى يدبر الأمر يفصل الآيات لعلكم بلقاء ربكم توقنون صدق الله العظيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقدة من لساني يفقه قولي اللهم ربنا ألهمنا رشدنا وعزنا من شرور أنفسنا اللهم أرنا الحق حقا وارزقنا اتباعه وارنا الباطل باطلا وارزقنا اجتنابه اللهم وفقنا لما تحب وترضى آمين يا رب العالمين Dear brothers and sisters and sons and daughters in Islam السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته With the name of Allah and invoking his help we are beginning our study of Surah Al-Ra'd as I have been telling many a times, most of the surahs of the Quran are in pairs. But there are certain surahs which are unique, which are munfarid, and there is no other surah like those. For example, the very first surah of the Quran, Surah Al Fatiha, is unique, it has no pair. But then, Surah Al Baqarah, Surah Al Imran, they were a pair. Surah Al-Nisa, Surah Al-Ma'idah, they were a pair. Surah Al-Anam, Surah Al-Araf, they were a pair. Surah Al-Anfal, Surah Al-Tawbah were a pair. Surah Yunus, Surah Hud were a pair. And then, last night we studied, Surah Yusuf is unique. And I told you that among the 14 surahs of the third group, the group of Bakki Madani surahs, the 14 surahs are Makki, starting from Yunus, ending in the 18th part with Surah al muminun These are 14 surahs. But the 12 of these surahs, they can be grouped into four subgroups of three surahs each. Now, in each subgroup, there is one pair and one unique. One pair and one unique. So, we had Surah to Yunus. And Surah to Hud alayhim salatu was salam, a pair. Surah to Yusuf, unique. Now we have another, the second subsection of three surahs. Surah to Rad and Surah to Ibrahim alayhim salatu was salam, they are a very beautiful example of a pair. But then Surah to Hijr, that is a unique surah. It has a style of its own. And rather, if we can reach Surah to Hijr today, tonight, then I shall tell you that it has, you know, actually a very peculiar position in this Mus'haf. So now we start, you know. Now look to these three, two subgroups. The first subgroup was consisting of a little larger surahs. Surah Yunus, 11 sections. Surah Hud, 10 sections. Surah Yusuf, 12 sections. Now we shall have this, this smaller group. This groups, Surah al Rad, six sections. Surah al Ibrahim, seven sections. Surah al Hijr, six sections. They are smaller. Then, you know, the third subsection will be again, subgroup will be Surah al Naml, Surah al Nahal, 16 sections. Then, Surah al Surah Bani Israel, Surah al Kahf, each having 12 sections. So, smaller and a greater. Now, out of these, Surah Al-Rad and Surah Al-Ibrahim, as I have told you, they are a pair. And you will see, the 43 ayat of Surah Al-Rad are divided in six rukus, six sections. 
that is the average is seven ayat in one ruku in the same case 52 ayat of surah ibrahim they are divisible into seven sections again seven and a half average is seven and a half ayat per section but look to hijr it has six sections but 99 ayat a very different style smaller ayat because i told you that the surahs which were revealed in the beginning they were of a different style smaller ayat but you know just like the rivulets in the mountainous area, area in the mountainous regions the rivers are not very wide but they are very deep and the flow of water is you know very strong currents going on but when the same rivers come to the fields to the plains now these are they are broad you know but you know they are slow and constant so that is actually the best simile of the surahs which were revealed earlier small ayat but the flow and the rhythm is very fast but when you go later period the later period of surah of the makki and then the, then the madani surah then you will find you know the the surah the ayat are larger in size the flow the rhythm there is a divine music all right but the flow is not so fast so you will find in surah al hijr you know all the qualities of those surahs which were revealed very early they are present in surah al hijr and this surah actually belongs to the early pakkan period but it has been included in this group although this group two groups of these surahs they have most of them the surahs which were revealed in the last four years of the makki period but this one has been added here now just like surah al anam and surah al araf i told you in makki surahs you know in one of the group there will be tazkir be ala illa allah's creative activity allah's signs allah's attributes how he has created how is administering this universe all these ala illa but in the second member of that group that pair you will find at tazkir be ayyam illa the history of messengers of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what happened to big nations to the people of hud to people of saleh the people of nuh alayhi salatu was salam so this is tazkir be ayyam illa reminding people and admonishing them referring to the history referring to the events great events of their past history and admonishing people referring to the you know creative activity of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the signs that is at tazkir be ala illa so you will find in surah al raad at tazkir be ala illa no reference to messengers no reference to prophets it's all you know the the person of allah his attributes uh, and you know his omnipotence omniscience all these things you know they are stressed in surah al raad but again we shall find in surah ibrahim reference to the messengers but you know the difference would be we have studied these news of the messengers of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in surah al araf then again in surah uhud but here you will find them collectively only hazrat ibrahim is mentioned in a little bit detail and naming him but all you know hazrat nu hazrat ehud hazrat saleh hazrat lut hazrat shoaib yet they are not been named there only collectively they have been mentioned so this much should suffice you know as a, an introduction and now we begin our textual study alif lam mim ra there are two surahs in the quran which begin with four letters we read surah al araf alif lam mim sad all the other which have read up till now alif lam mim three letters surah al baqara alif lam mim surah al imran alif lam mim then again surah al yunus alif lam ra three letters surah hud alif lam ra three letters surah yusuf alif lam ra this is the second surah which starts with four letters like alif lam mim sad surah al araf and alif lam mim ra it is surah al raq tilka ayatul kitab these are the signs these are the ayat these are the revelations of the book wal ladhi unzila ilayka mir rabbikal haqq and what has been revealed to you what has been sent down to you o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam from your lord is truth the total truth walakin aksar an nas la yu'minun but most of the people they don't believe in it 
اللہ الدی رفع سماوات بغیر آمد ان طرح نہ ناؤ جسٹ دس ون آیا ہاؤ پروفاؤنڈ اٹ از گیونگ اس دی کریٹو ایکٹیویٹی ان دی کنٹرول آف اللہ سبحان و تعالی آف آل از کریشن اللہ الدی رفع سماوات بغیر آمد ان طرح نہ اللہ از ہی ہو از ریسڈ ہائی دی ہیونس وداؤٹ اینی پلرس وچ یو کین سی نو ویزیبل پلرس سو مستوال الرش Then he mounted the throne. وَسَقْرَ الشَّمْسَ وَالْقَمَرِ And he subjected the sun and the moon. كُلُّنْ يَجْرِي لِعَجْرِ الْمُسَمَّةِ All are running their own courses till an appointed term, appointed time. They will not be going on forever. It is عَجَلُ الْمُسَمَّةِ There is a time which is appointed already. يُدَبِّرُ الْأَمْرُ He manages and or ordains all the affairs. He is the creator as well as the controller. Not only a creator, he is the controller. He is the runner of this show. He is the manager of everything. He ordains it. يُفَسَّلُ الْآيَاتِ لَعَلَّكُمْ بِلِقَاءِ رَبِّكُمْ تُوْقِنُونَ He is explaining to you these ayat. Maybe so that you may believe in meeting with your Lord. لَعَلَّكُمْ بِلِقَائِ رَبِّكُمْ تُوْقِنُونَ So that you have belief and faith that you will have to meet your Lord one day. Now what's the relationship? Because you know the doubt which came to the minds of the people about resurrection was how can it happen? When we shall all decay, our bodies will decay, will become dust like dust and will be mixed you know, in, the, in the clay. How is it possible that we can be resurrected? We can be created an, a, a, again? Now Allah says, if you believe in that Allah who created all the heavens and the earth, who is controlling the all of the universe, who is controlling the sun and the moon and all the stars and everything, do you believe he cannot create you again? If he could create you f- for the first time, you know, doing some, g- some job for the first time is more difficult. To repeat it is easy. Now you think that it is difficult to repeat your creation. He can create. So all these qualities of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they will remove your doubts about resurrection. And it is He who spread out the earth. And put in it the mountains. And the rivers. And He has, you know, produced all the fruits. وَمِن كُلِّ سَمَرَاتِ جَعَلَ فِيهَا زَوْجَيْنِ اسْنَيْنِ And from all the vegetations he has made pears. And today we know, you know, I think when the Quran was being revealed, it was not in the knowledge of, the, of humanity that among the plants also there are sexes. You have the male and the female in each flower, the male and the female. And in the date, in the date uh, palm especially, They have separate, you know, flowers, the male flowers and the female flowers. But these things, you know, they have come to, to be known now universally. Everything, it has sexes, it has pairs. Yuxil Laylan Nahar. He makes the night cover the day. Inna fi zalika la ayatil liqaumi tafakkaroon. Definitely, in these things are signs for those who reflect, who think. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can do all this, Why can't he resurrect you? Why can't he give you another life? 